Hey guys, I wanted to make a comparison video here between the newly introduced runtime environment Art that we found in Android 4.4 KitKat and what we had before Delvic. Now Art is experimental, it's not finished so I'm sure it will get a lot better. Delvic is what we've been using but I'm pretty sure Art is going to be the future of Android eventually. It's not quite finished yet and it does break some apps so be aware of that. Now this comparison is very rough. I don't have two Nexus 5 so I had to do this firstly on Delvic and then secondly on Art. So. I then had to link them up in the edit, so I tried to be as accurate as I could, but be aware there may be some human error. I did also try and do exactly the same thing on both to try and make this as fair a test as possible. They both started from a cold boot, so yeah, here we go. So first up here, we're going to open the same apps on both runtimes and see which one is quicker or if there's any speed differences at all. Don't forget again, Art is experimental right now and it is tucked away in developer options so it's not meant for the average user. Like I said, this was also started from a cold boot so there was no apps open on either one. And it is the same device, so it has exactly the same amount of apps. Now, Dropbox, you can see slightly quicker on Delvic there, but ever so slightly, really not much difference. Facebook, again, shows the information first on Delvic. Maps, same story, slightly quicker on Delvic, but not much between them. Google Plus, pretty much identical. I couldn't see any major differences. Really, I couldn't see any major differences when opening apps. It started to get a little bit more interesting in YouTube. You can see Art takes a lead and it definitely loads YouTube quicker than Delvic did. And the biggest difference was definitely in the game for me. You can see, uh, you're about to see at least, that Art is gonna load the game quicker. You can see it's marginally quicker to actually load the game to get to the start screen. I also loaded up a level of the game, so it's the same level on both, so there wasn't any kind of funny business here, and Art definitely takes a lead. You'll see for yourselves in a few short seconds that Art will load the game quicker, and that is kind of interesting. So here we go, Art is done. And then about four to five seconds later, Delvic comes in. Now one of the main differences when using Art is your apps are going to take up more space and you can see that quite significantly here. The apps are definitely taking up more space on the Art runtime than Delvic and I do have less available storage quite obviously as well but it is quite significant. If we check out the individual apps here you can see that Facebook for example on Delvic takes up about 62 megabytes, Facebook on Art takes up 91 so that is kind of a big increase. You'll see that pretty much all the apps on Art are bigger than what they are on Delvic and you can see here that the additional size definitely adds up and you do end up with quite a bit less storage if you do have a lot of apps. Lastly, just to finish it off, I thought I'd run a few benchmarks here just to see if there's any differences. I did cool down both devices to the same temperature, so there isn't any thermal throttling on either device. So this is a pretty fair test right now in terms of which one is faster in its benchmarks. Let's see what happens. They pretty much look neck and neck right now. Results are in. You can see there isn't any significant difference in the Geekbench 3 results. And lastly here, we're going to run Quadrant. Now, straight away, you'll notice Art is definitely taking a lead. It's zoomed through the CPU and memory parts of the test, and it's already on the 2D graphics. Delvic, you can see, is clearly behind right now. So that's kind of interesting. No idea why. Don't ask me why Quadrant is better on Art. There must be something to do with the runtime that's making a difference. But let's uh, skip to results and see what happens. So Art has finished first here, let's click yes and see the results. It scores 12,700 and Delvic scores 9,700, so there's definitely a significant difference here. So there you have it guys, that was a very quick rough look at the differences between Art and Delvic. Art is quicker in definitely some situations like loading games, you could see that quite evidently. I do honestly think that Art will eventually be the default runtime for Android, maybe in the next major Android release it will be. It is already showing improvements over Delvic and it is still experimental, so that's got to be a good sign. Now this video was by no means scientific and maybe you guys are getting a slightly different experience with Art than what I'm getting, but... If you're asking me my opinion whether or not you should use Art over Delvic, I really wouldn't. One, it's not worth the increase in the file size, you're not getting that much of a speed boost. Secondly, it does break some apps and it is experimental. Even Google say, don't use this if you're an average user. This is just for developers to kind of get used to it and see how it runs. So if you want my opinion, stick with Delvic right now. It's the one you want to be on. It's the one that's going to create less issues for you. Peace out.